Bob is a remarkable person. You said Bob is a remarkable person. <laughs> you talk about him like he's here still. I can't believe he's gone forever. I just can't. I my my brain has not comprehended that yet. Candace Cameron Bray revealed on the Today Show this morning that she's still processing the loss of her Full House TV dad, Bob Saget, but more importantly, her close friend of more than 35 years who passed away just over three weeks ago. To think that um, he's not here and we're not gonna have another joke or another hug or just another bit of ridiculousness in life is, is um, uh, it's almost unbearable for me to think about. Candace read out the final text conversation that she had with him a couple weeks before his passing. I'm so scared that I'm gonna pull up his text and then accidentally delete it one day. Like it scares me so much because I don't ever want to lose this. The exchange happened after they had a little bit of a tiff as Candace describes it. In Bob fashion, the next day he wrote me like what would be pages long of a text. He was apologizing, saying he was cranky and he was just so, he was just so sorry. He said, oh, now I feel even worse. I was so wrong. You're like my favorite person on the earth. And Bob went on and on and on in the text. And he said at the end, I love you more for the trouble you're giving me, if that's even possible. And I wrote back, I love you. I could never be mad at you. Roll my eyes at you? Yes, but never mad. And he just wrote back, I loved you. Having to articulate what Bob was to her Candace could barely muster up the words. Bob was available and there for everyone that he knew. But Bob, Bob was that person that no matter what happened, Bob would drop anything for you in a second, in a heartbeat, that friendship that's unconditional, that... Mm -hmm. It's a lifetime, but I guess our lifetime is, you know, finished on earth <laughs> for now. It's quite moving to see what a close relationship they had. And on a totally serious note, Candace, I would screenshot that text conversation, send it to yourself through email. I would print it out. I would have multiple locations that that text conversation is because it seems like it's just still in her text conversations on her phone. So yeah, have a backup for that thing, Candace. But yeah, really powerful interview from Candace this morning. What did you think of her paying tribute to Bob?